Welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, I was running around all over the place, trying to get a key made for the city of Cardoom. It is finally time to turn it in. What can I do for you? You have returned with the key. Let us hope, my friend, that the key from which this was cast was not a false guide. Would you do something for me? Your efforts have renewed my hope, Kippen. The time has come to move against the false king. Fortunately, I have just received word from Rangal that my father was being moved outside of Cardoom to Runadin. With the key you have forged, no door will be barred to us. We will never have a better chance to free my father. Are you with me? If so, speak with me again when you are ready to leave. Alright, so let's go. Let's go ahead and do it. Are you ready to leave, Kippen? Who knows how long we have before my father is moved once more. Using the scroll of the Hillmen, a key to the gates of Karn Doom has been forged. Now the heroes of Eriador and Lorniel, daughter of Golodir, must pass the gates of the Iron Fortress and free the Ranger from the clutches of Mordred, the steward of Angmar. So you can see I'm pretty beefed up. This is supposed to be a fellowship quest, but since it's an epic quest and the developers know that it may be difficult to get a group, if you're doing this solo, you get some buffs to help you out. A shadow is on my spirit. Good, so far we have passed unnoticed by the enemy. Now we must see if we can find my father. I have no insight into where exactly he may be. Rangal did not tell me where in Runenden he would be found. We will have to make careful search. Prepare yourself who knows what lies ahead. Tread carefully now. So unlocking the gate here. Nice. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to kind of bring everyone in. That way I'm doing some nice AoE damage. Honestly, I think I could handle this without the buffs, but I'll take it. It'll make things go by faster. At least increases my damage output. Let's press on ahead. They're a fallen ranger. Let me see if I can get everybody to come here for some AoEs. I like this beefy damage that I'm getting. Can't complain about that. There we go. Excellent. Please do not be him. Oh no, these little guys. They summon really strong dudes. The pale folk. I forgot about those. You have to interrupt their inductions or else they interrupt people that are tough. It is not him. Let us continue. Now those fail pale folk are going to be a problem when I actually reach the instance of Karndu. I see another fallen ranger ahead. Just going to try to tear through these enemies. Please, do not let this be my father. Alright, so I was able to quickly kill those. Perfect. It is not him. Let us continue. Hold, I will open this gate. Strange, the key does not work here. I am not sure why the key did not work, but I did see a means to open the gate. On the other side of the gates, there is a lever. I will wait here and watch the pass behind us. Okay, so I gotta go around. Which is alright. Oh, 
definitely overpowered here. That's all right. And just gonna keep going ahead. Gotta. Man, I guess those guys don't care too much. They're enslaved, so they don't really want to help all their former masters here. Just gonna put some bleeds on this Angmarim citizen. I'm silenced. That sucks. That's alright, though. You know what? I was gonna say I was gonna round all these people up, but... I can't win. One of them is ranged. I'm gonna kind of alternate between the two a little bit. Let's push on through. Let's get like everybody. Just like that. I like it when they all go down at once really quickly like that. It's always fun. There we go. And I completed the Troll Slayer as well. Alright. So let me see what's going on up here. Doesn't look like I can lock it. I have to go open the gate from behind for my friend here. For Lorneal. And I guess I can come through here. Alright, got these priestesses here. Let me try to gather everyone up. Nice and cozy. Just like that. There we go. Kind of alternating the damage a little bit. Not very efficient, but... I kind of want to keep them all together here. And completed the Angmarim Slayer. Now can I open it? No. I need to use this switch here. Good work. Indeed. Silently now. It is very strange that the key did not work on this gate. I hope we do not encounter any other unexpected surprises as we continue on. Be on your guard. Another ranger lies ahead. Father, is it you? Kill all those dudes. It's not him. Let us continue. And some strange lights from up ahead. Perhaps the key will work here. Indeed it does. Good. Intruders. I remember this. They come out a little bit at a time. Wow, very vague memory of this quest, but it's all kind of coming back to me. It's very nostalgic. Nah, I'm silenced. There we go. Bring forth the giant. They must be stopped. Holy cow, look at that bad boy. He's a pissed off giant. He looks like a complete badass though. Oh, he's just killing everyone. The giant has broken free from our will. 
This is so epic, man. It's like me fighting Stroganoff and Heligrod all over again. I know, I know it's Storvagun, not Stroganoff. But if you watch that episode, you know that I like Stroganoff. So that giant went down quick. I think this fell spirit actually got something to do with it. I don't know. Or maybe he just did die quickly. And there is the city of Karn Doom. He can make it off in the fog. Here's the front gate. He is not here. Stay a moment. My father is not here. How could Rangel's words have proven false? I fear that if that we will have to go into Karn Doom itself. Come now, Karn Doom lies before us. This instance is extremely epic, Karn Doom. I'm excited about that episode. Unfortunately, it's probably not going to be as epic because ultimately I'm probably going to have to have somebody uh, run me through it. See, Goladir, it is as I promised. Here is your daughter, and here is Kippen, and all the others you have watched for so long. You see, for a great many days, Goladir has watched you from afar through a palantir. I told him that seeing your failures would break his will. Yet, as he saw your success, he thought me f a fool. Now, though, as he sees your final defeat at my hands, he shall know true despair. And in his despair, he shall abandon all hope and become a servant of the crown. Never die. Lorniel. Alright, so we shall fight the false king, Mordorith. Is Lorniel dead? Where'd she go? Let me see if she's like down the ramp here. Nope, she's dead as hell. Or so it looks. Alright, so... Let me go ahead and fight this guy. Do a little bit of healing because my health is kind of going down a little bit. Oh, I couldn't do my... Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll go ahead and do this. We'll do that. We'll do a war cry. Nah, let's do a surety of death. Resisted. What a clown. Alright, doing pretty well though. It is enough. I do not waste time with you fools any longer. Leave now and take Goladir with you. I have accomplished what I set out to do. So he's retreating back into Karndoom. Deeper off into the distance. Leave me be. Goladir speaks through choking sobs. No, no, Lorneal. He was right. Mordorith was right. He was just playing with me. With you. He could have defeated you today if he truly wanted to. All that time seeing through the Palantir, I thought I would see the victory that Lorneal and you, that you would free me and bring about the downfall of Angmar. It is all gone, all lost. I Quickly, we, we must leave this terrible place. Lorneal, daughter of Golodir, sought to free her father from the clutches of Mordorith at Karndum. But her plan was followed, for Mordorith slew her at the gates and allowed Gulodir to go free, a broken man. What hope can Eriador have against a wraith nearly the equal of the Witch King himself? Interesting, I always enjoy the little movies that play in the epic storyline. Leave me be. Why did you come? Why did you allow Lorniel to come? I would sooner have dwelt there in torment for a thousand years than to see my only daughter perish at the gate of that forsaken place. Here, I took this accursed key from Lorniel before we left her behind. But no, I no longer wish. Take it. Alright. So, let's just do that. And we have finished book 7. We are on to book 8. I have nothing left thanks to your carelessness. If you wish to speak with someone, speak with Lairdon. He will have to continue the fight on now without me. Now leave me. Alright. So let me leave this place for now. And Lairdon should be somewhere around here. I think he's... I always forget what side he's on. I think over here, maybe? 
No, this is where Lorneal is. Let me go on the other side. No, that's the exit. Let me try over here. Sorry, getting a little lost, like always. My heart cannot sing today. Ah, uh, Kippen, it is good that you have returned. I have known Goladir for many years, but never thought I'd seen his spirit so broken. Though Lorniel's death, death was perhaps the final stone to be cast at his shattered heart, I sense there is something more dire at the root of his despair. We must reforge Goladir's spirit, my friend, though I know not how. I have only a dim flicker of a plan, but perhaps it will work. Goladir was a mighty warrior, and he could be reminded of the past if he were to have his weapons again. They were taken from him and given as gifts to the emissaries of the tribes of Angmar, as token of Mordorith's victory over the free people. Each of these emissaries occupies a tower at Barad Gularan to the south. If we are fortunate, you will find Goladir's weapon and gear on these emissaries. Alright, so Barad Gularan is another instance here in Angmar, and that one is quite epic. It's a pretty impressive castle really is what it is very rich i would say for now though let me open up my quests and see what i can do so i can do that one i can do this one i can't do that one just yet that one's far off to the south i can do this one and then these are two instances from the two guys at the bottom of the sail here. I'll do those a little bit later. Karn Doom. Can't do that just quite yet. Yeah, so I guess this is all I have for now. So let's go. I think the first thing that I'm going to do is kill some of Bogworth's brood over here in the north. That'll be my first stop. And you can see it's starting to look like a spider layer. Obviously a lot of spiders, some cobwebs, all the good stuff. And I think I have to come in deeper here for the spiders to count. Let me come in here, let me dismount and see what I can do against all these, see if they count or not. No, they're not counting, that's alright, I'll keep going in deeper, I just want to kill a couple of these for fun. So let me go in deeper and look specifically for the broodlings. So deeper in this way, is that a broodling? Egg tender. Going in pretty deep here. I don't want to spoil anything as to what may be crawling around back here. But let's just say I do want to be a little bit more careful. Alright. Hold on. Let's kind of back things up a little bit. Take it slow. Kill some spiders. There we go. Get over here. That way I can get all these bad boys. There we are. Let me try to open one of these. It may just be like a treasure chest type thing. Or it may spawn broodlings. It did not. So I'll go down there. And there you can see them. Some of the broodlings. So let me go ahead and kill a few of these. Alright. 
right. And let me bring them all over here. Do an AoE. Nice. Bring them all in there. Alright. Try to gather up as many as I can. And there is a matron here. She popped up. I guess she's getting mad that I'm killing all the little broodlings. Understandable. Understandable. Put a couple of bleeds on this bad boy. I don't necessarily have to kill these matrons. I just kind of want to do it. Got to get a little bit of healing going though. Let me get a defensive strike. Put a couple bleeds on there. More healing. I'm losing HP faster than I would like here. That's okay. Let me try to recover a little bit of it. Should be almost dead here. This guy, man, won't die. He really wants me dead. There we go. So I killed the matron. And again, I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm going to get out of here while I still can. And I will definitely be returning to this place at a later date. So first things first, let me get this off the tracker. And go do some of my other quests that I have available. Gotta go place weapons on some of the priest altars. So there are five altars, and you can kind of see them as the quest rings. I really kind of have to go around all this cliff here. Sorry about that, that was my phone. And I think the first altar is somewhere around there. I could have dodged that bad, but I was a little bit careless. That's alright, I gotta fight this dude anyways. I guess I don't really have to, but... Alright, let's put this down. And let me go down to the next altar. All the way down there by the road. Oh, by the way, hold on. 
need to pause here for a second. So there is a new mount that uh, the Lotro team is giving out to people who are VIPs. And I guess this is kind of like a 10th anniversary thank you gift to the VIPs. Also celebrating them breaking off from Turbine Games and Warner Games to form Standing Stone Games. They awarded VIP players with this, Steed of the Eldar. So I'm actually going to use that mount for the rest of the season, which I think should be pretty fun. And here we go, exclusive mounts. I'm going to put it right there in my mount slot and check out this really cool mount. Steed of the Eldar. Look how cool that thing looks. Really nice looking pony. No complaints there. And definitely appreciate the gift. Still one of the biggest mistakes I ever made was not buying the lifetime subscription for Lord of the Rings Online when it first became available. Granted, I was really young at the time and I couldn't just cough up 200 bucks even though I knew it was going to pay off in the long run. I just couldn't come up with $200 at that time. But that's alright, I kind of am glad that I didn't do that because ultimately I do want to support the game and me giving them their monthly subscription is my way of supporting the game. In fact, I know that I'm going to play this game constantly, so if I buy the yearly subscription, it's ultimately cheaper for me, but I choose to do the monthly because it ends up being a little bit more expen expensive. But I do that because I like to support the game as much as I can. This game has given a lot to me, so it's not too much to ask for me to give a little back to it. I think it's fair. Going to keep making my way towards all of the altars. And I'm very close to level 56. Should be happening soon. Let me see if I can place the sword and not even have to fight this guy. Nah, that's wishful thinking. That's alright. And done with that. Third altar, a little over halfway done now. Moving on to the fourth altar. Man, look how epic it is back there. Cannot speak highly enough of this map. Alright, there's the altar. Ah, what a mess. Just kill everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm fighting everybody that was here. That's alright. I don't care. There we go. Everybody's gonna die today. Finally done with all those guys. And one more altar to go. It's going to be a little bit to the northeast. And then this quest, Cries of the Host, is actually pretty nearby as well. Let's kill the priest here. Alright. 
Done. Last altar. Perfect. Next, Cries of the Host. Again, just right there. Over that way. In fact, we ran by that boss yeah, a couple of episodes ago, I guess. I knew I was going to have to come back to kill it. Most important thing is going to be to get it nice and isolated. I don't want to get swarmed by a bunch of the Merovale while fighting it. There it is. Let me go ahead and ambush. Got interrupted. Alright, that's cool. That's alright. That's alright. Summon a bat. That's alright, too. Let me back up a little bit. I don't want to... Ah, it's back to full health. Okay, hold on. So the gambits are going to be really important here, making sure that I can interrupt the heals, or this battle is not going to go favorably. Let me see if I can do this. Give her the boots. Excellent work. Man, all right. Definitely got a lot of healing to do. And let me interrupt that, perfect. Let's do that. Lots of stuns in this fight, that's okay. Little bit of healing. Yeah, let's go ahead and interrupt. Oh no, I used the wrong gambits. Oh no. I pressed the wrong button, so I wasn't able to interrupt that. God, that little bat has a ton of health. Alright, let me see if I can heal myself a little bit. Missed it by a little bit. Ugh, oh, my god. This is a disaster. Too many interrupts, too many heals, all sorts of nasty stuff happening. Ah, oh, you're too late. I'm too late. All right. Let me activate this skill right here. Let me do a safeguard. Let me see about getting back on my feet. Put a bleed on it. wrong gambit again I'm really bad man I really need to practice my interruptions because that's actually going to be a critical gameplay element in later levels it hasn't really mattered too much up to this point but one of the most crucial things you can do in this game is effectively interrupt inductions from enemies and I'm failing in that department miserably ultimately gonna be all right here but There we go. That worked out. And it should be dead pretty soon here. There we go. And it took forever. And let me kill this bad boy. And let's get out of here. 
so what are we doing? Where are we? Right here. What other quests do I have? I guess I do have my epic quest that I could go do all the way down here. But this is an excellent stopping point for this episode. So let me see. Where am I at? I can't return there. That's okay. So in the next episode, I'll meet you back in Gath Fortnir. And then we'll continue adventuring from there. So thanks for watching.